today we're going to sharpen your knife. For this, of course, you're going to need your knife and a whetstone and water or oil, depending upon your preference or whatever your stone says is best. This is my knife. It's from RDG. It's Swiss steel and it's double hollow ground, which means that it has this little wedge shape and you can see that it comes to a very fine point. That makes it easy to sharpen, but it also makes it easy to dull. So you start off laying it flat on the stone and then come up to an angle where as soon as you start to pull it towards you, you can feel that it catches a little bit. And that's the angle that you want to maintain for each stroke that you take. I always like to start pulling it towards me just because that feels more comfortable. After a few strokes, you flip it over and you do the same thing. So adjust your angle until you feel that catch. You can see that there's a whole lot of dirt coming off my knife. Um, that may happen to you, depends on what kind of stone you've got, whether you can see it or not. So switch to the other side again. I usually just do seven or eight strokes per side. And if your knife is already fairly sharp, you won't have to work too hard here. Depending upon whether you're right or left-handed means where you're going to put the burr. The burr of the knife is basically the way that the... Depending upon whether you're right or left-handed, you want to finish with the side that you're going to leave the burr on. And the burr is basically the direction in which you're going to um, be cutting. Depending upon whether you're right or left-handed, you're gonna wanna end with the side that you're going to leave the burr on. The burr is the part of the knife. When you sharpen the knife, you are basically breaking and filing down the very fine end of the knife and the angle that you create will cause when you finish you're going to want to end with the side that will be cutting forward so you can see that I am stopping you can see that I'm ending with the knife pointing away from me, and that's because I want the burr of the knife to be facing that direction. The burr is going to be facing up as you are, uh, as you see in the image. You're gonna wanna end with strokes that will put the burr on the surface of the knife that you want it to be. So as you press As you switch sides, you are pushing the burr of the knife from one side to the other. This means basically that the edges, the very, very fine edges that you can't actually visibly see of the knife are folding over to one side or the other. If it is folded, if it's folded, you wanna make sure that you finish so that the burr is folded over You want to make sure that you finish so that the burr is folded over in a way that allows you to cut best. So if you are left-handed, you're going to want the burr to be on the left side of the knife as you look down the spine of it um, with your uh, from the as you switch sides, the burr of the knife. You want to make sure that the, the, the strokes that you finish with are the ones that are going to put the burr on the side that is advantageous to you. So if you're left-handed, you're going to want to put it on one side, and if you're right-handed, you're going to want to put it on the other. So you can see that I've ended where um, the knife strokes are going away from me, and because I'm right-handed, this means that the burr is going to be working to my advantage. When I finish, 
I like to clear off any of the residue that is left on the knife. And then I test the sharpness by scraping my fingernail just lightly as I would scrape the reed tip. I don't put as much pressure as I would if I am scraping the reed, but here you can see that it cuts very easily and uh, it's sharp enough for what I need it to do. Make sure you sharpen your knives often because a sharp knife is safer than a dull knife. You can control what you're gonna do with it and you can make sure that you're cutting exactly what you wanna cut. Good luck.